All right, so in this video, we're going to show you how you can export uh, your design as a photo so you can show people what you're working on or maybe you want to pair this up with the file that you're saving. Anyways, the, the way that this will work here, I always go with this method. Now, you don't have to go with this method, but I always select what I'm trying to export uh, with my selection tool. And then I'm going to go up to File, Export. The next window that pops up is, of course, going to be your Save Dialog window. And here I'm just going to type in Flower, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my format... I like using PNG just because I'm able to have a transparent background. When I go ahead and click Save, this is when this menu pops up right here. And you, you do have several options available to you. You have your DPI, that's your resolution, dots per square inch. Uh, background transparent. That's why I said I like using PNGs. I do not like using uh, colored backgrounds. And I'm going to go ahead and choose transparent. And then the next thing I make sure that I have selected is selection only. So if I click on that, that guarantees that the only thing that's going to be with this photo here is going to be what I selected on the mat. And I also like using the crop as well as giving myself uh, a border. Uh, this will give me one inch, uh, one inch on the left and right, as well as uh, the Y axis, which is your up and down. It will give me one inch border because if you know if I if I don't do that, uh, you know, it's just going to be really close and tight. So I do want to give myself a little buffer space here. So half an inch is fine with me. If you want to use drop shadows, of course you can. It adds depth to the photo. You can change the offset, the opacity, the blur. Uh, you know, you can choose to apply it to have to all layers, or you can just have it uh, be on the bottom most layers. So uh, very nice that they did add that. Now, once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and click the OK button. And another uh, good tip here, if if you are using transparencies, uh, you're going to want to you know. You're, you're going to want to add that border if you plan on using a shadow, okay? Otherwise, it's going to get cropped off. But uh, there it is. Uh, there's the flower. There's the shadow that we put on there. It looks really nice. Uh, you know, you can put this file next to the file that you saved for this cutting file. So when you're going back and searching for something, you just have to look up the photo, and you'll be able to find what project it goes with. So um, that's what we wanted to demonstrate with this, which is the... Uh, how to export your selection, your design, as a, a photo image so that you can use it, see it, and visualize it.